Hi guys, so today I have a beauty haul. I have stuff from Ulta, from the drugstore, and from Hot Look as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with some things that I picked up from Wet n Wild. I got four of their catsuit liquid lipsticks. These are amazing. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen videos on these. Can you tell what kind of colors I like? Maybe a little bit. My absolute favorite one is Nudie Patootie. It's just this gorgeous, like, brown color. It kind of can make you look sick, but, like, it's cute at the same time. I got the color Rebel Rose. I got Nudist Peach and Give Me Mocha as well. So these are incredible. They last on your lips. They're $5. You can get them on sale as well. I believe they're 40% off at Rite Aid right now. Um, so that's those. If you have been like thinking about getting these, I highly would recommend it. They are awesome. I got two of the limited edition Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters. I have Lilac to Reality and The Sweetest Bling. I actually have the full collection coming in the mail right now. It should be here tomorrow. So I'm planning on doing a whole video on that. But I just have these two. I ordered these from, just from some girl, I don't really know. Um, so this is Lilac to Reality and this is the Sweetest Bling. And here they are swatched. They're gorgeous. I um, wore the Sweetest Bling, the pink one on my face, uh, on Friday. And it looked amazing. So I'm really excited to try out this one. These are awesome. If you can get your hands on them, I definitely would recommend picking them up. They're only $5 and they're pretty bomb. Next up, I have this Rimmel Lasting Perfection Foundation. I used to have this foundation a couple of years ago, but then it just got old, so I just threw it out. Um, but I remember really liking it. It was really full coverage and I really enjoyed it. So I got it in a shade that, that should match me. This is 100 Ivory. I probably am going to have to mix in a white foundation with it, though. But, I'm pretty excited to try this out again just because I remember it being a really nice full coverage foundation from the drugstore. And it's super inexpensive as well, under $6. I picked up the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is my first time using this. Purchasing it after hearing people talk about it for years. The thing that sucks about it is that they don't have a shade light enough for me to brighten my under eyes. This is their lightest shade in the shade Fair. And this is just super pink. It doesn't really brighten my skin at all. I can use it kind of as a spot concealer, but for brightening, this doesn't do anything for me, but it is really good at covering. Um, so far, I like it, but I can tell it won't be a concealer I'll use all the time because I want my under eyes to be brightened when I wear concealer, and this does not do that for me, but it is a nice full coverage concealer from the drugstore. I still prefer Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer over the Instant Age Rewind. Um, I have one thing from Physicians Formula. I got their Butter Bronzer after hearing everyone talk about it forever. It really does smell amazing, and this is what it looks like. I really like this. You can't even see it. <laughs> there it is, Swatch. It's a really nice, smooth bronzer. It smells good, and I really enjoy it. If you have fair skin like me, you'll like that. Another bronzer that is really good if you have fair skin like me is the Essence Sub Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This one is in the shade Natural. Look at how big this is. I just hit myself. But look at how big this is. This is only $5. It smells similar to the butter bronzer. Not as strong. But it looks like that. And this is just a really beautiful bronzer. Um, swatched right there on my skin. It does not look orangey at all. It just gives you a nice warmth to your skin without looking muddy or something like that. So this is awesome. And while we're on the topic of Essence, I have a couple of other things from them. I have their Satin Touch Blush, and this is in Satin Love. There it is. Swatch is a really nice blush. Um, I wore this the other day and I really enjoyed it. I finally got my hands on the Pure Nude Highlighter, um, but I was really disappointed in this. Like, it's, it's because of my skin tone, that's why I was disappointed in it, because it's too too kind of like pinky peachy for me you probably can't even see that swatch 
this right there it's just too dark for me so this won't work for me right now because I am super fair um but hopefully once I get a little bit tan in the summertime this will work out for me because it's a really pretty highlight where it's just too dark right, one last thing from essence is their all about bronze eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like these shadows in here are just so so gorgeous I'm running out of swatch room there's one of them and then there's another one right there these are amazing this is I think 549 at Ulta this is the only one that they had in stock when I went but I definitely want to pick up more after seeing these beauties I have a couple of things from NYX I have two brow products this is one that I have tried out it's their Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade and this one is in the color chocolate this is what it looks like. It's a nice product. I used it on my brows for a couple of these in a row and I enjoyed the outcome. I also got their micro brow pencil and this one is also in the shade chocolate. Um, I do think that I prefer my BH Cosmetics little micro brow pencil over this one. I did try this out once. I wasn't that impressed with it but I will continue to try it out. Um, but so far I'm preferring my NYX one over this. I mean my BH Cosmetics one. Okay, I got a couple other things from NYX. I got their Stobe of Genius uh, highlighting palette here. I really like this. I used this purple color and then this color up here. I mixed them together and that made a really nice highlighter for my face. The rest of the colors in here are beautiful. I'm really excited to play around with it. It's not as intense as like my sleek highlighters, but it's still really nice. I also picked up an Avant Pop eyeshadow palette, and this one is in Nobu Chic. And this is what it looks like. These colors are just so beautiful. Like, just look at that. Oh my god. Like, this purple. Swatch that. Um, swatch this pinky one. I have one more finger. Swatch this one. Like, just look at those so so pretty i don't have anywhere else to swatch unless i like roll up my sleeve here i mean my bracelets here but those swatch really nicely um i kind of swatched it over like my arm hair so things aren't really working out but this is a really beautiful palette and i'm excited to play around with it i have one last thing from nyx it is their blush in the color taupe i've been using this to contour actually and i really like it it's not too purple or ashy or anything like that it's just a really nice kind of gray toned contour shade and I really like it. If you have fair skin like me, you'll really like that. Um, we'll do the two things I got from Hot Look before diving into my box of L stuff I have over here. Um, Juvia's Place was on Hot Look. If you watch my previous video, you'll see that I already used these two palettes. But if not, I just wanted to share them. So I got them for somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars it was definitely less than what they are on their website um so i got the nubian 2 and this is what this one looks like just really gorgeous colors in here i that's all i can say these are gorgeous and beautiful and incredible and then i also got the masquerade palette and this is what this one looks like. I don't have any like blues or greens in my collection like this. So I'm really excited to get to play around with these palettes. They're just so fun and gorgeous. And the colors are beautiful. And just everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. So those are the random little things that I got from the drugstore and Ulta and Holt Look. And now I'm going to dive into this box of L stuff I got here. So the first things we'll talk about um, are this. This is my favorite new foundation combo. It is Elf's Prep and Hydrate Balm. And then their Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Light Ivory. This combo is what I have on my face right now. And just, it's amazing. I, I can't say enough. It's amazing. It covers my acne, my scarring, and just makes my skin look really nice. And hydrated because I have super dry skin and it's just really good. 
Um, I have a lipstick. This is a velvet matte lipstick. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's in the color Blushing Brown. I don't think I like this color. I like the formula, but I don't think I like the color on me, and I don't think it's matte either. It's not matte. Um, I don't like the color. I don't think it looks good on me. It's too kind of brown, kind of like a poop color, honestly, but it's still nice. I have this on my face as well. This is the Gel and Powder Eyebrow Kit in the shade Light. I actually have this on as a contour today, and I really like this as a contour shade. I used the powder in there, um, and I think it look, looks good. It's a nice kind of gray tone contour. I have the uh, Makeup Mist and Setting Spray. So I'm really excited about this. I love, love, love setting sprays, so I'm excited to try this out and see how it works. My favorite is the Mario Badescu, and I also love NYX's Dewy Setting Spray, so we shall see. I got a brush. Elf brushes are some of my favorites. Probably over 50% of my collection is elf brushes. Um, this is one of their newest ones. It's their pointed powder brush, and this is what it looks like. It's just, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful brush. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's a beautiful brush, and I'm really excited to play around with it. Um, it says achieve targeted application of bronzer, blush, and finishing powder for a more complete look. Okay, I would probably use that for bronzer. Is it for some blush? You never know. This is just like a classic repurchase for me. I buy this all the time. It's their clear brow and lash mascara. This is amazing for setting your brows into place. Got their baked trio eyeshadow in lavender love. So their big shadows are actually really good, and this is just a pretty kind of cool toned palette there. I got their lip lacquer in the color Bold Pink. I thought this would be nice for the summer. I got a eyelash curler. I feel like you can never have too many of these. I got their Sunkissed Glow Bronzer in the color Warm Tan. I don't really know why I got this. This looks really dark, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, and then the last thing I got is their Ultimate Kabuki Brush. I don't have this brush, and it's kind of intriguing. It kind of looks like the brush that I think Becca has. Becca has a brush like this. Like You're supposed to be able to use this for your foundation. For like blending stuff out, for like doing your contour and your blush and your highlighter. I don't know, but it's interesting. It's very interesting. I don't own a brush like this. So that's interesting. So that is it for my haul today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, this, this one on these highlighters and this whole collection will be coming shortly. And... I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.